I'm Josh Beware. And I'm Shane Sergis. Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Emmanuel Neely with the Faith Lutheran News Network, and welcome to this week's broadcast. Today we have a handful of stories from pumpkin patch openings to Disney Halloween. First, let's hear from Alex with a report on the homecoming dress-up week. Thank you, Manny. With homecoming around the corner, everyone is wondering what's going on during homecoming week, and we are here to give you the rundown. Kicking off homecoming week, this Saturday will be our powder puff where grades compete in certain games to determine who the best grade is. Next, we have Monday, where the theme is Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. So make sure to wear your pajamas to school. Tuesday is You've Got a Friend in Me, where you can dress up in matching outfits with your friends or as a group. Remember, Wednesday is testing day, so no dress-up day will be had that day. Thursday is surfing the USA, so dress up in your Hawaiian shirts, but do not wear any bathing suits. To finish off Spirit Week, Friday is Decade Day. The freshman class are the 90s, sophomores are the 50s, juniors are the 70s, and seniors the 80s. Dress up as best as you can to match the theme of your grade's decades. Also, on Friday, we have our lip sync competition and our homecoming football game. Lastly, on Saturday the 16th, we will have our homecoming dance. The FLNN is excited to see you there. Back to you, Manny. Thanks, Alex. With new fall weather approaching, a lot of fall festivities are popping up around the valley. Let's go to Cam with more on the topic. What's your favorite fall festivity? The, the Pumpkin Patch! Patch! I'm Cameron Crusoe with the FLNN. Now that it is finally October, we get to enjoy the best of the fall festivities, especially the Pumpkin Patch right here in Boca Park. Let's find out if the Faith family is ready to enjoy the Halloween Town this year. What's your favorite thing about working at the Pumpkin Patch? Um, you get to meet a lot of new people and obviously you get paid, so that's a good part of it also. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'm excited to work with kids and, you know, just like the fall vibes of it. Are you excited for the pumpkin patch this season? Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Yes, I think it's going to be so much fun. The pumpkin patch is located in Boca Park and is open every single night in October until the 31st, which is Halloween. What's your favorite thing to do in the fall with your kids? We go to the pumpkin patch. And what are your favorite festivities at the Pumpkin Patch? Uh, the big um, inflatable slides are awesome, but we really pick out pumpkins and carve the crap out of those things. Come visit the Pumpkin Patch for the food, games, rides, and pumpkins. I'm Kim and Caruso with the FLNN. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cam. To keep the Halloween theme going, Sophia reports on how Disney celebrates the season. Hi, I'm Sophia B from the FLNN, and today we're here in Disneyland. Let's see what Disneyland does to celebrate Halloween. After being closed for 412 days, Disneyland reopened this summer. As you walk down the streets of Disney, you can now notice the Halloween decorations and the new Halloween merchandise. Some COVID protocols are still in effect, like not being able to meet the characters and mandated masks. What is your favorite part of Halloween at Disneyland? My favorite part is this gorgeous house right here, dressed all in Halloween, pumpkins, you got Jack Skellington, everything there. Halloween at Disneyland runs from September 3rd until October 31st. At Disneyland, there are different events held in the park to celebrate this holiday. If you want to join in on the Halloween fun, you must make a reservation in the Disneyland app. Well, the magic definitely is back. From the FLNN, I'm Sophia B. Back to you. Thanks, Sophia. With the fall college application deadlines approaching, students are wondering how Im important standardized testing is for college applications. Ellie has more information. Ellie? Hi, I'm Ellie from the FLNN. Recently, colleges have switched from requiring test scores to now becoming test optional. We went around and asked seniors their thought of this change and how they plan on applying for the fall. Do you think your ACT or SAT score is an accurate representation of your academic skills? No, I didn't study for the ACT. No, because my GPA is a lot higher than my test score. And no, because I never try on the test. I think it does to an extent. I think it shows where you are and the subjects that it tests on, but like for other things, not so much. And also if you're not a good test taker, then it's gonna be harder for you. Uh, I do not think it accurately represents my academic skill. Uh, 
Are you happy that colleges have made the switch to go test optional and test blind? Yes, it makes it easier to get into college because you just have to write a good essay. Hashtag trauma dub. Yes. Oh, uh, because my score was a lot lower than my GPA is. Uh, yeah, because colleges will focus on something other than your, just your test score. I think it helps um, some people. Personally, I like my scores, so I'm kind of like in a middle ground. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, because I do not like the SAT personally. Uh, so it's good that they have become test optional. Do you think it's a positive or a negative that colleges are going test optional? I think that for the average Faith Lutheran student, it might be a negative. The reason that schools are test optional is because a lot of students in this country haven't been able to test. And so like, for example, last year, Nevada, Faith Lutheran was the only ACT test site in about a five state radius. But the average Faith Lutheran student is not deprived or underprivileged or suffering in any way. And so a test score helps them. But the student that has a bad test score, sure, now they don't have to report it. Does that mean they have a better chance of getting into that school? Harvard, no. Reno, yes. So it all depends. What is your top school? The, you, <laughs> uh, Texas State. Uh, yeah. Uh, my top school is Queen Mary University in London. My top school? <laughs> Those are seniors' thoughts on the recent test score policy change. If you still want to boost your score, go to ACT.com or SAT.com to view the following test dates. I'm Ellie from the FLNN, back to the studio. That's all for this week. From Faith Lutheran News Network, I'm Emmanuel Neely. God bless.